Hello. Love to you and your loved ones. <sighs> Take a deep breath out there in the world. Because <sighs> it's one of the, maybe the greatest moment in history is coming very soon. December 21st, 2020. 4.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I mean, to be the exact precise moment that the conjunction is going to be closest. Um, this is actually, if you are to believe all this stuff, this is actually much more um, monumental than just the Great Conjunction. Speaking of, monuments have been randomly popping up everywhere. And I'm not saying that's not humans, but what do... Uh, Simon Parks brought this up, which is a good point. What happens in 2001 Space Odyssey? The monolith shows up during huge uh, awakenings for humanity, right? In the movie. Um, so anyways, besides, forget all that for now, I'm even, um, that's just a side note. The Great Conjunction, first of all, is a big deal, very powerful. You have Saturn and Jupiter going into alignment and being very close to each other, which supposedly hasn't happened in this, ha didn't happen this closely since 1226, which is like knights in shining armor and stuff. Um, uh, so there's also, you know, great conjunctions to some degree, you know, pretty often, but okay, so let's cut to the chase. Now, why is this way more powerful than just a great conjunction? Because there's a lot of people talking about this and I was kind of feeling this and you know I've read articles a long time ago that have addressed this whole issue which is that we're flying into we, we've been flying into a highly charged part of the galaxy everything's activating I read an article in like 2008 that even NASA which <laughs> NASA doesn't necessarily have the deepest information but even in the NASA article, this lady was saying that she she admitted that we're flying into a highly charged part of the galaxy, maybe the photon belt where it's spinning. And so there's more photons spinning on the outside, right? Like a donut. And we're flying into that. Um, pro probably, maybe that's what it is. Regardless, she said we're flying into a highly charged part of the galaxy and she ended the article with we should have a very interesting future and that was in 2008 and so we're we're notice since 2012 which everyone talked about is a huge shift and people seem to laugh that nothing happened but it doesn't work like that like i've i brought all this stuff up before in different videos of mine but anyway again it's a knob it's not an on and off switch only your lights work like that nature and reality doesn't work like that. It's a knob. It's, it's a process. And so, but just think of the world 2011 and then think of the world since then. It's been hugely different. And of course, 2020 is the most insane roller coaster, crazy, scary, intense year of our life for, for sure. I mean, Come on, that's an obvious. Um, now, so to get right to it, what possibly could be happening is that uh, I guess there's different possibilities, but I think, and what I'm hearing from Simon Parks, for instance, he says that the that moment is going to be when 3D Earth and 5D Earth split, or 
it's like the moment five the earth goes into 5d um, it gets to the next level uh, why not 4d because 4d is already here with us so it's just 3d to 5d and also people talk about the earth timelines which I just brought up and as the time goes on it's going to be harder to go from 3d to 5d because as it's as time goes on it's going to split up as it goes and so you're going to see people in 3d that are more probably fear um, ridden and maybe angry maybe totally believing everything on the news and um, just stuck into the whole normal being a normie and then you have 5d people which are trying to you know be high vibe which relaxed peaceful loving compassionate understanding patient um etc etc you know spiritually minded um thinking of others service to others and not service to self fear is obviously creates makes you be service to self even though you think you're loving as soon as you're scared all that goes out the door like when you get jumped from a gang and your friend that acts like he loves you and he's so down with you but when things really get crazy when there, there's danger all of a sudden that guy f runs away he he was selfish he was a coward why because of fear so all that love went out the door all that <laughs> I'm down with you. You're the homie. Went out the door. <laughs> All right. So, so this is a huge moment. And what you can do is connect to the earth. Be barefoot on the earth. You know, sit on the earth. You know, put your hands on the earth. You know, bare skin on the earth is great. And your feet walk on the earth. Um, and closer time that you do it to the great conjunction i guess would be great for here it's 4 a.m so that's pretty unlikely people are going to do that here but i'm going to do it um i'm even going to sleep outside in a tent and um you can face australia because supposedly they're going to have this big ceremony at uluru rock uluru rock and the aborigines that lineage that's connected to the earth is going to do something and it's about bringing earth into 5d and so why this is actually so important is um at least simon parks was saying they tried this in the past but it, it didn't happen because there wasn't enough people that were high vibe and you know awake and connected to what's really important you know and maybe including the earth but and so the earth tried to ascend in the past but it didn't happen so it's really important for us to do our best to maybe because maybe the earth won't do it because of us you know so it's important for us to be high vibe as much as possible um at, as much as possible period because after this happens it's not like it's over it's not a switch like i said this is just the beginning this is the portal opening you know then time is going to go on from there and there's still you know work to do and we need to keep staying on our high vibe you know stay on that high vibe horsey ride that high vibe horsey relaxation love you know peace just everything that's not fear frustration anger judgment um um fear whatever else well, fear, you know, I think that's the one I didn't say. So, obviously. Now, <clears throat> let me get into some specifics about what's going on here. So, we have Jupiter and Saturn coming together. Now, Jupiter is expansive. It's, it, Jupiter says yes. You know, it's, it's a very expansive, it's a good vibe. It's, it's, a, it's yes in a good way. It's mental and spiritual growth. Um, sense of honor, goodwill, abundance, morality, gratitude, hope, honor, good luck, optimism. The bad thing about it would be blind optimism, excess overindulgence. 
So, but it sounds pretty good, right? Now, Saturn is, is almost the exact opposite. Saturn says no. It's restrictive, limiting, authoritative. So, at Jupiter's expansive, Saturn's constrictive, you know, and restrictive. But the good thing is it's practical. It's not considered really good luck, you know, bad luck. And um, you could say that the deep state, the government, uh, they're all about Saturn. And that's proven by like logos and stuff. But and what I hear a lot, you know, but and just use common sense. I mean, restrict likes to restrict, constrict, limit authority, you know, control freak. I mean, come on. That's just common sense. I mean, it's obvious. It's just out there, you know. Um, and now both, I think one of them went into Aquarius on the 14th and then one of them is going to go into to Aquarius the 21st, which is interesting because this whole age of Aquarius talk and, um, Aquarius is, um, someone told me Aquarius is thoughts, air sign or is thought actually, but Aquarius is vision, visionary change freedom, rebellion, more truth, new beginnings. So man, all of this together, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a, um, explosion. It's like Saturn and Jupiter crashing into each other and with this Aquarius thing. So we're going to get either, so one way you could look at it is either change in a bad way or change in a good way, right? Because Aquarius is change. So you could say change. So that's also why people don't think that um, astrology is, is real. But how come presidents are into it? How come CEOs are into it? And supposedly they're all about astrology. But they just downplay it because they use it. Same thing with magic. If you used magic on others, wouldn't it be the great, great idea to say that magic doesn't exist? Same with astrology. You make you downplay it, but then you use it against everyone <laughs> or to control and get what you want, you know? All right, so now if you think of it from a stupid or Saturn perspective, it's like, okay. And I was, I was bringing this up before too, because in society we see so much bad in 2020. Whether you're a conspiracy theorist or a normal person, you see bad. You think, oh, vaccines is bad. Um, you know, there's going to be war maybe, and there's going to be... Um, more restrictions if you're a conspiracy angle person and if you're a normal person you're just afraid of the COVID and sad because of lockdowns and everything else and having no job and everything so it, you can see it right there you know there's a lot of um, so either so my point was when you see bad in society we live in a dualistic world, so that's a good thing because if you see really bad in society, you know there's a flip side to that. There's really good, something really good happening too. So spiritually, there's this Jupiter thing going on, so that's really good. Um, spiritual and mental growth, and that's what everyone's talking about in like, say, truth movements, truth or movement, and you know, um, New Age communities, they're saying that it's an ascension of humanity. And I guess, well, we can say maybe this is the ascension of the earth, not necessarily humanity. But that's why we need to connect to earth. I didn't even finish that. So we need to connect to earth on the 21st, as much as close as possible to 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 4.02. And just... It's not about you. It's just about the earth. You know, and this is what Simon Parks was saying. It's just about the earth and the earth will ascend. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of good out of it, too. You know, so and this would help you set the tone for your life. You know, like I brought up in the other um, video. So there's a duality. So we see the, the the bad side is right in front of our faces and with the news, at least. And then we have the spiritual awakening happening on here. And so there's kind of this Saturn's getting ang Saturn's trying to control because Jupiter is is getting out of hand and I hear Jupiter is Saturn's son or his kid or something and 
in astrology or mythology. And so Jupiter is starting to break free, maybe you could say, and then Saturn is getting more restricted because it's like, hey, you know, you're you're under my control. And then this is where the future is going. So we need to we need to be on that 5D side of the Earth and and be on the Jupiter side of things, not on the Saturn side, not in the fear, the anger, and being controlled because we are afraid or anger too, because the anger will control you and put you in a low vibe. So, or this also means Jupiter and Saturn's coming together, and then we can find a balance of the two, you know, of optimism and practicality. So that's another good way to look at it in a normal way of just, it's not about one or the other, it's about merging them. Expansion and constriction, you need both. Um, you know, to maybe the humanity will demand change in a practical way, see, for instance, that's a good one. And you could say, people talk about the Great Awakening and all that, and that could be Jupiter, and then you have Saturn, maybe it's the Great Reset, you know? So, the whole great reset thing that you can look up if you don't know what that is um so that's about it and with astrology as above so below you know the things that are happening in the stars and the planets are reflecting us and that's that's pretty clear you know so i'm just you could how is it clear we'll just follow the times and that happen and then follow what was happening in the stars and the planets at the time and you can verify this stuff on your own so that's about it but this is just a huge moment um be on the earth connect with the earth put your bare feet and hands on the earth you know give a gratitude be high vibe loving relaxed you could face Australia if you want and be part of this ceremony, um, which is southwest of, of Los Angeles, pretty much smack dab, because um, it's central Australia too. And that's about it. Just, just know this is an amazing time. Don't get caught up in the fear and the anger and the frustration and what the F. Just that's the news, you know. That's not real life. That's not even real life about what they're talking about. That's politics and media. So just focus on yourself and focus on these positive things that are happening for humanity. And from this day forward, sure, it's going to keep going. It's still going to be an issue of what's humanity going to choose? Which one are they going to choose? Are they going to choose the Jupiter side, Saturn side? Are they going to choose positivity or negativity? Are they going to choose to be controlled? And afraid or are they gonna choose we're gonna choose to have change um, it's more of a spiritual change you know and uh, in society and have that expand out into all for all of humanity and that's up to us and so that's why it's really important that we do something at this time well December 21st but then also from that moment on don't forget if something happens if things, some crazy stuff happens, believe me, it's, it's, it's on purpose. They're going to make it seem like it's the Saturn side of things is going to make it seem like this is some crazy thing that happened. Oh my God, now you have to do what we want you to do. That's how it always works. Sorry to say, but they create problems and then control people from that. Okay. So if something really crazy happens, believe me, it's it's planned and it's not, I'm not going to say nothing bad is going to be happening, but just know that it was planned and don't get caught up in being suckered in to low vibes because of them. All right. Love, peace, relaxation, and courage. Be fearless out there. Life is a dream. So to go out there and live your greatest self. Be your greatest self. Live your greatest life. Be fearless as if it's a dream, because it is. And live a life that you'd be proud of when it's your time to fly away into another life or into the source if you're lucky. Peace.